Well, Jessica, the attorney for the state police union arguing this is a collective bargaining issue, saying that he wants the judge to have a stay in this case so the two parties can argue and have a hearing in front of the Department of Labor Relations. Now, on August 19th, Governor Baker signed an executive order requiring all 42,000 executive branch employees to get the vaccine or face possible punishment or termination. That vaccine requirement goes into effect on October 17th. The union representing more than 1,800 Massachusetts state troopers says about 20% of their members are still unvaccinated. The union arguing that October 17th deadline made any bargaining impossible and that because of the timing required between the shots, troopers who still need the vaccine will need to schedule their first dose of the two-dose Pfizer vaccine by this Sunday in order to comply. It's just totally inappropriate to be bargaining with a, a gun to your head or a deadline that's on the table because it calls into question whether or not it is good faith. There have to be situations where uh, there is an ability of the government in an exigency such as the COVID-19 pandemic to have a deadline for implementation of a policy. Now, the state also pointed out troopers can still get the Johnson Johnson vaccine all the way up until October 17th to be in compliance. The state also disagreeing with the union, claiming there have been good faith negotiations, including two in-person meetings and numerous emails. There was no decision today by Judge Jackie Cowan, but she acknowledges the urgency of this case, adding that she will try to reach a judgment as soon as possible. Reporting in Boston, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center.